Oh, man. Working nights makes me so tired. I'll tell you what. Time for me to go and do some stuff. But today, not this bad boy. We're taking the baby ninja. Oh, yeah. Oh, so here we are. Ninja 300. I'm not gonna lie, like, coming from my 1000 right now, and even coming from my 800 right now. Good job. Good job. I wanna try to pay attention there. Um, I mean, just everything about this bike is just so <laughs> different. <laughs> First off, the clutch release is like way fucking late, like super late. And then I gotta get used to now, again, cause I'm spoiled. I'm a little baby spoiled bitch. Using the clutch on a upshift. Cause I don't have to ride my bike constantly for so long. I got the quick shifter on it. And it's just like, yeah, I got used to that again. But there's nothing wrong with small displacement bikes, um, especially this being my fiance's you know, first bike, which I started out on something smaller than this. I started out on a Suzuki GW250. And God, this, fuck, this clutch release is so late. Like, it's hard to even fucking rev match and ugh. Just not used to it. Um, oh yeah, just, just talking to yourself. That's cool. Um, that's. Anyways, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Oh God, we're going. We're going. Uh, it's hard. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with solar plates. Just play some bikes. There's a video which I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. I'll try, but probably not. Um, if it is, I'll insert it here. But it's of a guy on like an R3, I think it is. Um, and he's killing guys, this, these two dudes on like a 600 and 1000. He even is, is going through in whatever country he's in on some road. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he's going through on whatever road and he's keeping up with them. And then he stops to like fix his, uh oh stops to fix his uh, seat or something like that and then catches up to them and the thing with small displacement bikes is, is you don't have enough power to pick up speed like super quick and so you've got to carry your momentum through the turns so you can keep up with people um you know on an r3 on a 300 on a 250 on a ninja 400 um that are on bigger bikes than you it's just you can't really slow down a whole shit ton and then you'll to compensate by just racking the throttle and picking up speed um but yeah like a good rider on a slow bike will always beat no matter what a shitty rider on a fast bike and that's just the way it is so the reason why i'm on this right now is i was actually supposed to uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to meet my fiance here for lunch at 1 o'clock. It is now probably close to 2.30. Uh, I work nights and I get home. I make her and the kids breakfast, lunch, you know, for the day or whatever. I chill for a minute, I pass out, and then I get up and go to work. Well, today is my Friday and I set an alarm didn't hear the alarm apparently i fucking just turned that bitch off um and slept straight through it so yeah i don't have to deal with those consequences but i mean it's just working nights it's the way i mean sometimes it happens man like you just pass out you pass out you're done especially after the you know it's my friday and everything so anyways i digress back to my original topic here um small displacement bikes now, there are some people that say 
that it's okay to learn um, like on a 600 or 1000 or or whatever it may be which could be true uh, I'm rocking the shit out of this bike even just normal um, which may be true you know you can you can indeed learn how to ride a well, you know, it's on a 600, not 1,000. Uh, there was somebody that was talking to me the day that was like, yeah, I learned how to ride on a Busa. But here, in my opinion, okay, for the average person, there are some people that just jump on, on two wheels, no matter what age, and they're just good, right? They're just amazing at it. They're good, no problems. But if you start to ride on a, a powerful motorcycle for your average person, you're not learning how to ride Ooh, this thing's flickable as foot. <laughs> You're not learning how to ride properly. You're spending your entire time learning how to manage the power of that bike. Your average person that's never been on a motorcycle cannot handle <clears throat> um, a 150 plus power motorcycle, you know, right out the gate, or even a, even a fucking 110 plus power motorcycle, you know what I mean, right out the gate. All they're learning how to do is manage that power. Um, so when you learn how to ride us, I really thought you weren't going to go. When you learn how to ride on a smaller displacement bike, 250, 300, um, you're not so much concerned about with managing power. You're not worried about, you know, being scared that the bike's going to loop out onto you or take off or, or anything like that. Um, you're learning how to actually ride the bike. Like, that's it. Learning proper riding techniques, shifting, rev matching, uh, body position, stuff like that. And so that's the difference. And then the other thing is, is yeah, you might be able to handle a 600, you might be able to handle 1,000 right out the gate. Um, but the higher in displacement you go, the more unforgiving a motorcycle is to your mistake, right? So, this guy, I can literally, like from right now, I can literally go, and it doesn't really go anywhere, which I'm a big dude on this bike. I, I'm like a bear on a cycle. But you do that on a on my bike, and you're, you're going places, man. Like, it's it's going. So a car pulls out in front of you, um, you accidentally hit the, you know, hit the throttle a little bit, you know, stuff like that. You know, you, you do you do a mistake, you ha you know, there's a mistake that happens. The higher displacement you are, the more inherently unforgiving things become. And so, like I said, you, you might be able to manage it, you might be able to take care of it, but it's just not a good idea. Like, in my eyes, it's not a good idea to start on a higher displacement bike if you have zero experience on any sort of motorcycle. And no, if you started out riding on a Grom, you can... <laughs> To me, that barely qualifies as experience. If you go from a Grom to a 1000, or, or you know what I mean? Like, okay, no, that's fucking retarded in my, and, and this is all my opinion, I'm sorry. That's just the way I am. Like, I'm an old school believer that you should go from a smaller displacement on up. Uh, the European licensing, you have to start out, excuse me, um, you have to start out on a smaller displacement. You have to, and then work your way up. And I think it's a smarter way. No kid straight out of high school, 18 years old, should buy a 1,000 cc, 150 plus horsepower motorcycle. There's just, there's no need for it. It's fucking stupid. You know what I mean? But whatever, I guess. Now, let's talk about, ooh, an STI. You wanna race, you wanna race? I'll fucking race the shit out of you, bro. Um, let's talk about the Ninja 300 in general as a bike. Um, the Ninja 300 is, in terms of riding capability and stuff like that, is a little bit behind the R3. Um, I believe this one's a 298 or 96 cc or some shit. Um, bike the R3 is a 321, so of course the R3 is going to have a little bit more oomph. Um, but as far as beginner, as far as flickability, I mean, this thing like 
I feel like I could pick this bitch up and throw it. <laughs> like, it just flicks hard. Um, so as far as the track, excuse me, as far as the track bike, fuck yeah. This bike can, can probably get down. And that's what I want to do. I want to buy like a little 600. Uh, I'm sorry, a little 300 or a 600. Just a beater ass bike and put it on the track. That's that's what I want. But maybe maybe one day. Maybe I'll do it with my taxes. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. Be kind of cute. So, anyways, my peeps. Yep, that's gonna do it for today's video on this monstrous angry kitten that I have on a bike. <laughs> anyways. Alrighty, my peeps. I gotta go face the wrath of my fiance about me not showing up for lunch and all this stuff. Damn, get down, bro. Get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I was jamming out. I swear to God, lady, you're pissing me off. I know you got places to be and shit, but tone it down a little bit. But yeah, my peeps, that's gonna do it for today. I guess I will uh, check y'all next time. Peace!